What's up YouTube, it's All Day Anthony, and today we are in the garage for another Evo vlog. Um, the goal for the day is to swap out the summer wheel and tire setup with my winter wheel and tire setup, as well as clean the wheels and clean the wheel wells, the brakes, um, the struts and everything like that. It's just something OCD I do about twice a year, um, late fall, early spring, swap everything out, clean everything up, get all the gunk and crap out of there, and. Uh, just kind of keep up on maintenance and cleaning, but uh, we're gonna do that today. And uh, yeah, let's check out the uh, the winter wheel setup. So uh, I mentioned this in one of my previous videos. These are the BBS uh, SE wheels from the Evo 9 uh, SE, and they're uh, they're the same wheel except they're just a different color. They're, it's called Diamond Black, and it's a really really cool kind of shiny. I don't really. It's almost like a dark chrome kind of look, but. Uh, they're really cool and I really like them. However, they're pretty, uh, they got a lot of curbing. They got a lot of nicks and little problems with them. That's just how I bought them, which is unfortunate. And I bought them as winter wheels, but down the road, if I were to ever find one, a, a set like this that was in perfect condition, I would totally rock those as my, uh, as my summer setup. And um, yeah, so we're gonna swap these bad boys out and, uh, and get going. <laughs> People are wondering why I'm using a paintbrush to uh, to basically soap up the wheel and and take off all the grime. It's just because uh, since it's such a small brush, I have to be a little bit more precise. So I just do a better job cleaning the wheel because normally I just half-ass my wheel cleaning. But if I take a little brush and do it like this, I actually take my time and do a pretty good job. <laughs> So now that we got the wheels all soaped up and soaking in a mixture of soap and wheel cleaner, I'm going to go through with this uh, Meguiar's 40 and clean up all the tires and get them back to being nice in a nice in that like, deep black color. This stuff it's a it's a cleaner as well as a uh, conditioner, so it'll actually take off all the uh, road grime as well as leave a nice new black finish on the tires. So quick little microfiber pad, just go over the entire wheel. I guess tire, not wheel. So one of the last things I do is I hit the wheels with some cheap spray wax, turtle wax in this case, just to add a little bit of extra protection. You know, if it gets me a month into winter for you know keeping grime and stuff off, um, I'll take it. But it's just it's easier than putting wax on. And like I said, I don't really care about these wheels enough to wax them and go the full nine yards. All right. So with these wheels over here looking spotless and fresh and clean to go on the car, um, we are going to be taking these ones off and uh, cleaning everything, cleaning the wheel wells and all that. And so people are probably wondering like, dude, why are you so OCD where you got to clean all this shit? And best way to explain it is just, I just am weird about like protecting, I guess my investments. That's just how I am. And I also like to clean shit, just therapeutic for me. So um, like what a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I waxed and, or I sealed the car. I polished, I sealed and I waxed the car. So it is now, good to go through the winter months, um, paint's gonna be protected. And then just a couple days ago, I cleaned the interior, cleaned the Alcantara, um, conditioned the leather pleather, whatever the hell it is, and uh, cleaned the interior. So um, yeah, it should be, should be good to go. Should be good to go for winter. 
Gosh, this is one of the reasons why I love Evos. I mean, look at these Brembo brakes. They are just, ah, they're beautiful, man. I mean, yeah, I got my aftermarket rotors and stuff like that, but the Bilstein shocks, it's like, dude, so much color stock. It's wonderful. Um, but, all right, so now's the fun part. So we're gonna go ahead and clean out these wheel wells. I'm gonna spray it down with um, some foaming cleaner again. And what I've taken, I've just taken just a shitty snow, whatever the hell this thing, disc or whatever, um, put that under there so it'll catch all the water and all the gunk and I can just dump that out. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> card. Use it to get rid of all the rocks that are built up between your mud flaps. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Well, I guess if you need to, you can. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So last thing on the list is I'm going to uh, use some silk shine, which is just a dressing. I got it in that package deal, and just get all the black plastics. I should keep them looking nice and dark and protected through winter. All right, so I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I did on the front on the rear. Um, I'm going to speed through this one so you guys don't have to suffer through all the cleaning, but uh, um, yeah, my Brembo's are actually starting to really uh, fade and start to chip away right there, and I've already refinished them once, but at this point, I don't think, uh, I don't think any more clear coat and sanding them down is going to do it. I think I'm going to get to bare metal before I know it, so I'll probably send those off. There's a company called like Detective Coating somewhere and I've seen all their stuff on Instagram and dude they do like awesome like powder coating and and all that and they're they like specialize in Brembo so I'm debating what color to go with like I, I was thinking like a burnt orange would be kind of sick I even like like the STI uh, Brembo color and I think that'll look kind of cool in the gray but uh if I were to go red again I'd go like a candy apple like metallic red 
um, something that it won't fade and start to look pink after a while. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Put your uh, put your thoughts in the comments on what color I should go with because I'll probably be doing that within the next year or so. So the cleaning is done, and it looks pretty. Looks pretty good. I, I do a better job in spring, but not bad. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw on the wheels now. <sighs> They're lighter than the uh, than the N key wheels for sure, but these things aren't the lightest wheels in the world. But I think they're like 17 pounds. Not bad. Not bad for a forged wheel. Come on, there we go. There we go. And line them up. Voila! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down to 80 pounds or so, and that's it. They're on there. Those are the uh, the BBS SE wheels. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna finish up with the other side, so you guys don't have to uh, stick around for that. Um, I guess I'm not gonna record it because I can't make you guys sit through all that again. So. Um, I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to clean up these wheels right here, store them, and uh, and call it a day. So uh, that's the vlog, guys. I know I didn't do much talking. I just kind of wanted to get this everything, get everything done. Because if I start talking, it's going to take me like five hours. But uh, yeah, if you guys dig this content, you guys want to see more Evo garage videos, more Evo vlogs of me driving, um, shoot it down in the comments. Let me know. But uh, until next time, it's all day, Anthony. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Oh.